another example. The relation is given in the equation form by x equals negative five, which is the vertical line. We can plot on the xy plane. Negative x is fixed to be negative five. It doesn't matter, no matter what y gonna be. So we have the vertical line test to represent the graph of the x equals negative five. determine the domain and range for the relation in the interval notation form. From the graph, we can see that the domain would be just one number. Domain is just the set of the number negative five. And the range would be the set of all real numbers. And you can write in the interval notation form as negative infinity to positive infinity. In part B, we determine if the relation is a function, if not identified to all the pairs as proof. Based on the graph, the graph does not pass the vertical line test because only one vertical line test that we can use in this case. And also sure enough that there are at least two other pairs, for example, the other pair negative five comma zero, and the other pair, let's pick one point over here. Uh, let's see, the x is still negative five, the y change to the positive six, the same x coordinate or the first coordinate is mapping to two different values for the second coordinate. We say that the relation is not a function because it does not pass the vertical line test, vertical line test. And the example of the two other pairs would be negative five comma zero, negative five comma six. Another scenario where the given relation in the form of y equals three, this case is in the form of the horizontal line. We plot the graph, y doesn't change, but x can be any number. y equals three when x equals zero, y equals three when x equals five, y equals three when x equals negative 10. So that means no matter what x value gonna be, the y always fixed to be the value three. The domain for this relation would be the set of all x values or the set of all first coordinates. In this case, we can see that x could be any value or we can say it's a set of all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is fixed to only one number, which is the value y equals three. In part B, we determine if the relation is a function, if not identify two other pairs as proof. We're gonna use the vertical line test. It happens to be like for any vertical line that we use for the process of vertical line test, there is only one intersection point. Therefore, this graph passes the vertical line test. So we can say the relation is a function because the graph passes the vertical line test. 